Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here on to record today another video about the uh, Canon XA40 professional camcorder. This fantastic piece of gear that I upgraded to recently from the Vixia HF R800, which is what I'm using to record this video on. And um, the what I want to cover today is to address a comment I got on that video from someone who watched it. The comment is, is it possible to connect one 3.5 mil microphone and one XLR microphone uh, together at the same time to the camcorder, the camcorder being the XA40. And I was actually wondering pretty much the same thing recently. So um, I figured this would be a good uh, launching pad to go and try out. So uh, let's just go ahead and see if that can be done. Okay, so here's kind of how I'm going to set up this test. This is my Canon XA40. For uh, the XLR microphone, I'm gonna use this lav mic from Comica. It's the Comica CVM. V020 and as you can see it's an XLR connection lav mic and this guy actually requires uh, phantom power to operate. For the 3.5mm, ironically this bigger microphone from Saramonic, the foam is a bit loose. This is the uh, Saramonic Cam Mic Plus, it's actually a battery powered mic that served me really well on the Vixia and as you can see I have this microphone running, the other, running down the other side into the 3.5mm jack intake and this is a battery operated microphone, so I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead firstly and turn it on. So now that my uh, microphones are ready to go, I'm gonna test these. And what I'm gonna do is, because this is a lav mic, it's always really easy to test if this is a source. By tapping on it, tapping on the foam is pretty in, should be pretty inaudible uh, for the shock and microphone, but it should show up very audibly and very clearly in waveforms um, when looking in the editor, and uh, hopefully we'll able to also be able to hear the difference. Likewise, I'm going to reach over to the camera, this microphone at some point, and do the same, do the tap test on the foam of this one, and uh, we should be able to tell if we can capture from both, um, and if we can, uh, you know, use both microphones in post-production. So I've gone ahead now and connected both um, microphones to the camera, and let's take a look at what changes we want to make to settings. Uh, so I'm going to use the hard button just so um, it's not super distracting. Firstly, uh, go into the settings menu, then you want to go across um, into the first one here, uh, which is the video settings. And you want to go down there to audio format. Now by default this guy is going to be set at two channel audio. And I'm just going to go ahead and push that over to four channel audio recording, LPCM 16 bit uh, four channels. Um, now, so the codec's different, but you're also getting four channels. So four channels will give you two stereo channels to work with. Now, I'm going to go back here for a second, and the next thing you're going to see is if I jump over to the audio menu here, um, we now have a whole bunch of options because it's recognized the two microphones. It's recognized firstly there is an XLR microphone attached here, thus I can affect, uh, I can change pretty much everything related to it. One other thing you might want to do in a situation like this is jump down here to monitor channels, okay? Um, and here you're gonna get a bunch of interesting permutations using the different audio channels available. So I can monitor, for instance, channel one and channel two, so that's gonna be stereo channel one and two. Um, I can just do uh, channel two, just do channel one, and then I can do these interesting combinations if I go down further, channel one and two over channel one and two, channel three and channel four, but then look at these ones. I can do channel one and three over channel two and four, and there is also their channel three and four over channel three and four. So I can actually uh, monitor these uh, up to these two different microphones at the same time in my display. So I'm actually gonna go for, let's see, um, channel one and three over channel two and four. I'm just gonna jump out of this menu now. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the actual uh, testing. Now, if I click again here into function and I go over to, microphone, now we can actually see what we're listening to. So we have input one, input two, and left and right. So I'm gonna do the tap test here. I'm gonna tap firstly on the shotgun. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the lavalier microphone. And you can see, you can identify that that channel one um, is jumping up there. So this is just one way to identify the channels that you're recording onto. mode mostly because I'm being lazy today so instead of getting this guy rigged up. So what I have now is uh, I'm recording two microphones simultaneously. One of those is an XLR mic and one of those is a uh, 3.5mm microphone. And I can see both levels on the screen here. I'm going to jump to a clip of that so you can see 
um, what I'm looking at here. And I've just adjusted the manual level on the shotgun microphone to somewhere that it's not uh, peaking like crazy. Now, here's the thing. Firstly, I'm bringing the uh, XLR lav microphone up to my mouth here, and I can see the levels are going higher. So this audio, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do my tap, tap, tap test now, and this audio should only be really Should be getting a bunch of peaks here on the XLR microphone uh, that are barely audible on the shotgun microphone. Now, if I do the same thing again, I'm going to be getting hopefully now pretty decent audio on both microphones, capturing from both shotgun uh, 3.5 and XLR microphone. And now I'm going to do the inverse test. I'm going to just give the okay. Here's where stuff is going to get interesting. So I've gone ahead and uh, taken that recording on the XA40 off the camera, I put it on my local machine. Now I edit in um, Ubuntu, uh, sorry, in Caden Live on Ubuntu, therefore this, this editing tool might look a bit unfamiliar to you. What I'm gonna do now is just drag this clip over into my project bin. Now, uh, if you excuse the somewhat unflattering uh, photo of me here, the first thing you'll see, and if you edit in Caden Live, you mightn't have seen this before, it says four audio streams. Now, by default, I typically edit using two audio streams and two video streams. So I'm actually going to need to, if I just try to drag this into my timeline, it's gonna stubbornly refuse to go anywhere until I um, put enough audio tracks there for this guy to uh, record into. So now I have my four audio streams, uh, sorry, four audio layers and two video layers. And now the magic can occur if I drag and drop onto the timeline. Now, what is going on here? Let's try to make sense of it all. I'm actually gonna just do this visually by scrubbing through the video. Now, at some point in this test recording, I said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring the lavalier microphone up to my mouth and so that you can see that it's coming from there. So look at the video. And this is a point where I bring the lav mic up to, uh, I hold it manually right in front of me. And you can see this is where the levels get a lot louder in that microphone. So we can see with pretty much certainty uh, that this track A1, and it's actually only recorded to mono, but that's gonna be my XLR gonna just name it here, requires a few clicks sometimes, XLR lav mic. Okay, this is then the internal audio microphone if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we're getting a lot of uh, different uh, things going on. Now you can see there's another interesting uh, peak and that's gonna help to identify the other microphone. At some point again in the video, I say let me do the tap, tap test on the shotgun microphone and I just tapped on the microphone itself and that's gonna naturally create spikes and we can see that there are spikes in three channels. Now what this is, is I'm pretty sure that we're looking at internal microphone uh, here on a, um, gonna just go ahead and ungroup these guys to make it easier to see. This is the internal microphone, it's kind of lower, and this is a stereo, This ster these two audio channels, channels three and four, so I'm gonna group them, because it's the same microphone, and that is the uh, shotgun microphone. And you can see in the video, there we go, just as I reach up to touch on the shotgun, we're getting those peak waveforms in those two microphones. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this uh, channel. I'm gonna move these guys up here. And I'm gonna name this uh, shotgun. Again, I need to do two clicks. 3.5 millimeter shotgun. Um, and they're grouped and this is grouped. So this is really, really super cool because what it means is that you can record with two microphones. So let's say you wanted to use a um, wireless lav mic 3.5 mils. Um, and then you also want to use a uh, shotgun or you wanted to use uh, two XLR microphones, whatever. The point is that you can record two microphones simultaneously and I'm pretty sure you can also record internal on top of that. So what I can do here is chop this up. So let's say for this portion of the interview of me, of my video blog, I wanted to get audio from the shotgun so I can just clip into it and delete this part of the lav mic audio. And now you're gonna hear the difference. And you can hear the microphone uh, switching over there from one source to the other source. And likewise, if I play here, whatever is on uh, top, so I can actually get rid of the uh, of this. Now watch what's gonna happen if I just get rid of the tapping. I'm gonna cut out the taps here. Now you can kinda, you know, you can't really even hear them, but there's still audio there, and that's coming from the lavalier microphone. And then we're gonna go back uh, to it there. So that's um, that's how you can do it. So the answer to that question is that yes, uh, you can record both XLR and 3.5 mils uh, microphones simultaneously and it does work well. And uh, I imagine this is also going to be 
super useful as I, I do more advanced things with this particular camcorder. Hope this video is useful. If you did find it helpful and you want to get more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you guys as always for watching.